All right, listen up, keepers and my friends. We got to talk about what has happened to the Adidas Pro goalkeeper line over the past years because not enough keepers have been talking about this. Because if you're like me, you're thinking, what the hell has Adidas been drinking and thinking to turn their flagship glove inside out? So come join me as we look at the newest mutation of the Adidas Predator Pro. So you guys know, another year has come and another slightly changed variation of the Predator Pro line has hit the stores. And this time, our Predator Pro comes equipped with an all new, much thicker build. Starting in the palm, where the latex seems to be reworked for a full 4mm of URG 2.0 embossed latex that stretches down to the palm into the wrist. That's a lot more than what they used to have on the previous Predator Pro that was a lot thinner and looked a lot thinner. There's also a reworked demon skin backhand that is much thicker and is covered with much less but thicker spikes. And overall, the glove is made to deal with shot stopping much better than last year's model, which it is a huge improvement when dealing with shots in that regard. The cuts on our pros are still that negative cut that most professional goalkeepers across the world prefer, and Adidas still will not wrap that on their pro model, even though their ultimate role and cheaper competition model all have that role on the thumb, the Adidas crew have this stylistic choice that really makes no sense. It also goes in line with changing the pro's body to an ultra light glove and then having to add that extra weight on your newest model like these because the body was too light. Some of these stylistic choices are not making sense and they're taking away on performance of the glove. And on the palms, Adidas really seems to have given up the race for the best latex in both stickiness and affordability, as all the URG 2.0 models seem to be a sort of embossed latex that is nowhere near as sticky or as tacky as previous URG 2.0 models. And I do believe this is a conscious decision to improve durability, which it definitely does. But the difference in quality of latex between Adidas now and Adidas back in the day has been night and day. And seriously, this is the funniest thing, is if I were to compare this year's model of Predator Pro and our last year's model, I would say that the new Predator Pros from this year are much better than last year's model. So you would think, yeah, there's an improvement. Um, and there is that because mostly thanks to that extra weight and material that makes the gloves uh, a whole lot more comfortable and leads it to a lot more confidence in the hand. But when I think of old Adidas Pro models like the Trans Pro or the Predator Pros with the strap, with the latex rolled on the thumb and compare it with these new models, these new boys are still lacking in quality, especially with the latex performance and the quality of the fit and comfort on the ball. And really, the changes that Adidas is slowly adding to the Predator Pro now are literally coming slowly back to what they had in the models that worked years before. Their best performing gloves, in my opinion, have a rolled thumb, a wrist strap, or both. And most of their professional goalkeepers will agree. Just look at how many special makeup units you see on the professional scene where they have some type of Predator Pro with a wrist strap or with a wrapped thumb. Just look at how much better this year's model is with this added weight to the backhand that they purposely took off just a few years ago to make the glove a strapless ultralight glove. Right now, I don't think Adidas knows what they're doing with this glove, and it's being set up to be replaced by a new glove like the competition model. So even with this increased durability that isn't really all that impressive, uh, this is a serious fall from grace in my eyes. These new Predator Pros don't even compete with the top gloves on the market, and I really wouldn't even recommend them to any goalkeeper at their premium price. You can literally buy the Adidas competition model that has better performance and everything else for several dollars less than these pro models right here. And even though these latex and the gloves themselves had a decent showing after about two months of use on the pitches here in Germany in the German sun, it was really not a special performance. One that made me originally fall in love with the Adidas gloves that I had when I started goalkeeping. They had amazing features that translated to better, more confident, and more comfortable, uh, comfortable performances. Now, it really looks like Adidas wants to match their boots 
and the colors of their gloves and the styling and that's about it and the glove itself the pro gk line is in dire need of a smart redo because it went from being the top of the line best glove on the market to now just another glove in the group of gloves and you don't have to take me at face here you can look at all of my other previous reviews on the predator pros from years ago i would go crazy about them there was not many bad things i could say about the glove other than the durability because i wanted the glove to last so long so for me to watch this predator pro line hit these bottoms really really breaks my heart so i hope they do make a big change to the gloves coming up soon so that's it for our video on the Predator Pro. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to help support the ARSGK channel, all you got to do is smash that like and subscribe button. And if you haven't already, leave us some love down in the comment section. You can also join our GK Discord, which is now officially the largest goalkeeper Discord channel in the world with over 1,500 users. So join us, make friends, and talk gloves. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again very soon. I'm gonna hold your head high cause you're afraid of I'm gonna hold your head high cause you're afraid of I'm gonna hold your head high cause you're afraid of I'm gonna hold your head high cause you're afraid of